What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Don't have an order right now. So we go and get us some coffee. Hold up, might have a fish on the hook. Everybody is doing well. It is Friday. It is Forgiveness Friday. So today, family, I'm asking you to forgive somebody or ask somebody to forgive you. Because today is Darius Davis Day. So today we got to be good. We got to forgive somebody or we got to ask somebody to forgive us. Forgiveness is something we all need a little bit of. You know? Oh, I'm going to get this coffee right now. I need it. Hope everybody's doing okay. Did pretty good yesterday. Not my best, but I did pretty good. Right now, we need an order. We on Grubhub right now. I don't start at 10 o'clock on DoorDash, but I'm on Grubhub and I got post made up. Like I said, man, I haven't been getting no real good schedule. It's going to affect my money this week. So, Saturday, my obligation to the, um, to my bowling tournament it's probably going to run over. So what I'm going to do Saturday, I'm going to live. I'm going to live um, that Saturday since the podcast is going to be canceled. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go live on Saturday. Make up for the, uh, the um, podcast. Then we'll be back next week. I didn't think it was gonna run over, but my last tournament is at 6 30. And I'm all I'm like a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes away from the house. So it's I don't wanna have a 10:30, 11 o'clock on podcast. As you know, we over 40, we gotta go to bed. So but next week we'll come back with the podcast. I already know what we're going to talk about. I'll let you guys know. Yes, sir. And I hope everybody's doing well. So y'all can get two, two live days of... Uh, Turn it down. Might do some shout outs. Jackie, welcome back. Shout you out, Jackie, welcome back. Hey, Kim C, how you doing? I haven't heard from you in a while, sis. I just want to make sure everything is okay. I mean, I'm going to find you and hit you up. See what's going on with you. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Yeah, but I don't give a damn, sir. This church will be ready this Thursday coming up. Guys, please pre-order if you can. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking a picture of, um, I'm building the, 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 the wall, I'm building my wall up. So when you get your picture, I am gonna take a eight, when you take a picture of your shirt, whether you take a half of your face or no face or whatever, 
Natasha, thank you. That was a beautiful picture. I'm gonna post your picture. Not on not on social media, not like that. But on my wall, I'm gonna I'm gonna post all my people on my wall. So I'm gonna have a, a, a family wall. I'm making a family wall. It's gonna be the family wall of fame. And it's gonna be all the dashes who I come across with. It's gonna be all the dashes that buy the shirts. And then I'm gonna, you know. I don't wanna put your, your pictures on, on Facebook without your permission. So I'm just gonna put it up and I'll show you, show you guys once they get full on the, um, you know, on the podcast. I am gonna have Miss Trina build me a, a website. Um, soon we're not gonna, I'm not gonna be talking about the, the um, shirts. You'll be able to go on the website to purchase your shirt, shirt yourself. But not. I'm just trying to get all the shirts made. Once I get all the shirts made, I start ordering. And then once y'all go on the website, get your shirt, it'll be automatically sent to you. I don't have nothing to do with it. Give me an order. Stop playing with me, Postmate. Grub Hub. Nothing going on right now. I'm not getting a hit from Postmate or DoorDash. I mean, I'm grub her. I don't start till not, um, ten o'clock with DoorDash. I did end up selling four more shirts yesterday, guys. That was a blessing. Um, I got to get some more Hell No Thursday shirts and Thank for Tuesday shirts. I already ordered the Thank for Tuesday shirts. So, Scott, you're going to be getting your free shirt soon. Darius, you're going to be getting your shirt soon, too. I ordered that next Thursday. I'm just shirt behind, guys. I'm just shirt behind. Yep. Unbelievable. They land on the dude. I need you to go get you a Dunkin' Donut, girl. Treat your taste bud to something heavenly. You know? I'm gonna make me a shirt. It's gonna be Starbucks, it's gonna be hell. Dunkin' Donut is gonna be heaven. You know? That's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna show the different places. Starbucks is extra hot and nasty, and hell is hot and nasty. So Starbucks is gonna represent hell, and Dunkin' Donuts is so smooth and so good, it's gonna represent heaven. Yep, coffee. Hella, hella heaven. Which one you prefer to drink? Dunkin' Donuts gonna take you to heaven. Starbucks is gonna take you straight to hell. <laughs> Yes, sir. Drink your poison. That's, that's that. I might, I might do. A, I might create a commercial for them. Probably won't get paid for it. This woman looking at me like I'm crazy as hell. I am crazy, lady. I like when you look at people when they looking at you. I looked at her. She said, <laughs> "She looked away." If you man enough or woman enough to stand, you should be woman enough or man enough to, to take the heat when they look at you. When I stare at people and they look, I say, they either give me the fang or they roll it one down. I don't care. Beautiful day in Tampa today, guys. Let me see what my weather is like in, uh, in Florida. I mean, uh, Maryland.
Okay, Google, what's the temperature in Baltimore, Maryland? It's 52 degrees in Baltimore oh, right 52 now. 52 degrees in Baltimore. Man. That's good weather right there. 52 degrees is like 80 degrees. And it's April? Gee, Christmas. Almost gonna get the high of 60. I bet a lot of people be out with shorts on. Today is that day. Today is like 80 degrees in Melbourne. I had a white buddy of mine that I used to work with, man. He wore shorts. Come on up. The big hair set. She, he wore shorts all year round in Maryland. I couldn't do it. Excuse me. It's too cold, man. He said his legs and stuff don't get cold, it's just his upper body. I just thought that was weird. Alright, fam, I'm gonna get this coffee. I'll be back. Alright, Lynn, in case you don't know, your boy just got himself. A tin, a perfect cup of coffee. Hot damn. She stuck the landing. Homegirl stuck the landing. That's what I'm talking about, man. Alright, guys, we gotta check on a family member. I'm gonna check on Kim C. Haven't heard from him in a while. Family's important to me. So I need to check on her, make sure she's good. So bear with me for a minute, family. Don't hate Lynn, because I got a 10, baby. I got the perfect cup of coffee. The sugar is right, the cream is right, the coffee is fresh, it's well balanced, it dance on your taste bug. You, it, it ain't like Starbucks, you feel me? Starbucks kill you, your, your taste bug. Dunkin' Donut dances on your taste bug. That's the difference, man, doing the do. All right, let me get back to what I'm doing. You know, that's for all my haters out there. Okay, so I need to find Kim C. Shout out to all the new subscribers that, that joined the family. Please make sure you go out and um, check out the five star ratings. All the dash alongs, they will help you. Trust and believe that. Alright guys, hold on for a minute. I'd like to make sure everybody's okay. If you don't know Kim, she's very important to the channel. She keeps me straight. Along with MG. If I mispronounce a word, or if I don't say something, or if I use a word that I shouldn't be using, Kim's let me know. Kim will let me know. Hun Tamara, thank you. If she wasn't family, I'd probably cuss her out, but she's family. I respect family. Give me one minute, guys. I need to. I need to check up on baby girl. Benita, how you doing, love? Shouting you out. There you go. Hello, family member.
All right, so I just hit her up. She would be proud to know I had took the R out my vocabulary. I made sure I don't use the R word. It's very offensive. Sometimes I catch myself by, by me saying it so much back in the day. I didn't mean it as, um, you know, as a negative word. I just used it too much. I guess I did use it as a negative word. I don't know. But we don't offend. We appreciate and love. That's for sure. All right, guys. This is going to be a talk along. Because it seems like Grubhub and Postmate is not giving me any love this morning. And I don't start dashing to 10. And I think the biggest problem with Grubhub and DoorDash, I mean, uh, Postmate is I don't do them a lot. I do maybe one, two, three a week. Because DoorDash is my first love. Focus. Get back in focus, Cam. There we go. All right, don't play with me. I don't play that. But not this Saturday, Nate Saturday, guys. I'm going to give you a heads up. We're going to be talking about uh, fault from death. Uh, I did a video a couple days ago that talked about uh, if you can bring somebody back. And I was touched by the conversation that Natasha, uh, Tamara, and uh, Lynn doing it do. The conversation that they was having on the channel. And I think it's something that needs to be talked about. A lot of us hold fault. We, we fault ourselves for a lot of things. One of the things people always say, if I could have been there, this would have never happened. And we need to talk about that. Because I blame myself for a long time, man. For my cousin's death. No, I didn't put him in the car. I didn't, you know. I just felt like I, it was something I could have do, could have did that day, because I was the last one to see him. I was the last one to talk to him, you know. And it's it's, it's going on. It's been since the nineties. I mean, over thirty years that I was blaming myself. But once I realized that it wasn't my fault, it was nothing I could have did. It was it was God's plan and not my plan. Then I start to heal from within. So we need to talk about that, guys. I, I, I feel like a lot of us carrying that burden of losing a loved one and uh, blaming yourself. If I could have did this different, what if I did this? What if you did that? You was at the right place. Whether you believe it or not, you was where you supposed to have been at when all this took place. You might not believe that, but it's true. There was nothing you could have did. Only if we can go back in time and change some things. Only we can go back in time. A lot of people would have went back in time and uh, they would say, I would have had money. Yeah, you probably would have had money, but you probably wouldn't have been happy. If I could go back in time, man, I definitely would have been a better father and a better husband. If I could change that, you know. And the reason why I say a better, a better father because I missed out on a lot by working so hard and dedicating my life to work and not my family. And as far as the husband part, I could have been a better husband. I could have been there more for my wife when she was going through what she was going through. But I chose to be at work and stuff like that. So that's what I'm talking about. If I can go back in time, that's what I would have changed. I would have changed. I'm, I mean, you know, family you can't replace. You either can love them hard or love them wrong. I love my family hard, but I also love them wrong. 
I chose other things over family. But I'm better now because now family is over everything, you know. So I'm loving my kids harder than I ever loved. I'm loving my wife harder than I ever loved. And I'm loving everything that I loved before that less. So if that makes sense to your family, I hope it do. I need an order. I need an order. It's okay. I'm not crazy. I'm just insane. <laughs> uh, this woman scratching her head. She like, I think you might be crazy. I try to keep my head on the swivel, swivel so I don't miss nothing. <laughs> By doing so, I catch everybody staring and looking at me. You got some that won't look away, so I just wave at them. Now, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just talking to my, my, my family members, or I'm talking to my GPS, or I'm talking to Big Bertha. Big Bertha got a, uh, a, 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 a birthday coming up. First day that I bought her. Yes, guys, I remember that. She had six, six miles on her, man. I said six thousand. She had six miles. Now she got over 250-something thousand miles on her. Me and homegirl been through a lot. We've been through a lot. So at the end of this month, we're going to celebrate Big Bertha birthday. Let's see how old Big Bertha would be. 10, 2005. 2019. She'll be 14 years old. She'll be 15. Big Bertha be 15 years old. In car years, she'll be 25. <laughs> Come on, give me an order. Damn it. Alright, guys. I'm going back to the crib and drink my coffee, wait for my order. I can't wait to start dashing at 10 o'clock, guys. Don't forget today is Friday. Forgiveness Friday. You're gonna either ask somebody to forgive you or you're gonna forgive somebody. Forgiveness is a wonderful thing, man. It frees your soul. I had a friend that I ain't talked to in a while. He was mad at me. Or something and uh, I called him up out the blue first thing he said I ain't know you still had my number I said well I want to forgive you I want you to forgive me for whatever I did to you wrong and let's move on and this dummy didn't even know why he was mad at me I said can you please tell me why you are mad at me you know why I'm mad at you I was like no I don't that's why I call him Tell me why you mad at me so I can, you know, so we can fix it. He's like, hell, it's been so many years. I don't even know why I'm mad at you. I'm like, well, are you still mad at me? He's like, nah, I forgive you, bro. All right. We've been talking every day since. But he was mad at me for something. I don't recall what it was. Now I got to slide him to the left. Because he, he calling me every day and I'm calling him every day. So... It's a good thing, man. That's 30 years of friendship right there. We don't even know why we was mad at each other. I don't even want to know why. But uh, a few Fridays ago, I, I called him up and asked him to forgive me. So now I got my homeboy back. I don't want to talk to him every day, but it's good to know that we cool. So I can scratch that off my bucket list. And family, you need to do the same thing. I don't 
don't know what's going on with Postmate or Grubhub, but I'm not their favorite person right now. Today, I've been on them since 8 o'clock. I haven't had an order for them. I don't know if it's because they not started yet. Oh, I think Grubhub started at 9.30. Ah. I think so. The Postmate already started. Wow. I just looked at Grubhub, it don't start yet. I'm gonna go up to this gas station and talk about people. Can I get an order? For those that watch me on Thursday, guys, try to set your time in there, hit that notation bell, and it'll let you know when I'm going live. I went live on Thursday. I try to go every Thursday. I'm trying to go live. I got to remind myself on Wednesday. Because if I don't remind myself, guys, I'll just make a video. And then I'll be feeling bad. You know? But baby girl, thank you for giving me a 10. I mean, the coffee is just bang. Even though when I get a seven, I get an eight, coffee's still good. I'm still drinking it. It's just, it's not a perfect cup. A perfect cup of coffee deserves a reward. And that reward is me talking about it. <laughs> oh, man. So family, if you don't know, I will not I'm not doing a podcast Saturday. If I do get back in time, I'm doing a podcast. Trust and believe. But when I did it at 10 o'clock, man, I didn't give a lot of family members a chance to, you know, wake up. <laughs> they went to sleep, you know. And I don't like to be late. If I say I'm gonna do it at 9:30, I don't like to be late. And when I did it at 10 something, man, I didn't have a lot of family members there. Some of them was mad at me, so. If I'm gonna be late, I'm not gonna do it. Come on, player. So that's how I'm rolling, family. That's how I'm rolling. Had a great night last night at work. Can't complain. It's a lot going on. It's a lot of fixing we got to do. Right now, it's not that great. So let's do some shout-outs, guys. Since we waiting. All right, Lady T, shouting you out. M. D. Doherty, Dorothy, Dorfer, whatever. M. P. You know who I'm talking about. I'm shouting you out. Trinity D. C. Always shouting you out, big homie. Jack A. Shouting you out, both Jackies. I'm shouting you out. Awesome Eddie, shouting you out. Bakari, you know I'm shouting you out. Ben, but don't break my big homie, shouting you out. A Salima, shouting you out. Fancy Lady, shouting you out. Washington X, shouting you out. Money Magic, shouting you out. Talk with T tomorrow, I'm shouting you out. Miss T, you got three names. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, all right. Our right, time, time, Mark. Shouting you out. Lynn doing the do. I don't know what type of do you do, but I'm shouting you out. Motown YB. What it do, what it do. Scott Biller shouting you out. Natasha B shouting you out. Lane Splitter, shouting you out, man. I appreciate you, too. Lola, shouting you out. Darlene, shouting you out. Vilma, shouting you out. Demi Harden, shouting you out. Christine Hearn, shouting you out. Benita shouting you out. Chris Brooks shouting you out. 
Vita 420Z shouting you out. Alex shouting you out. SK. I don't think I should pronounce your first name right. Hopeful Bound shouting you out, baby girl. Driver shouting you out. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. David Burton shouting you out, big homie. Jeffrey Atkins, man. Send me a picture of them shirts. Motown YP. If you got a shirt, send me a picture, guys. I want to put y'all on my wall. I ain't no stalker or nothing, guys. Miss London shouting you out. Natasha, that was a beautiful picture you, you sent me, man. All right, guys, that's it for the shout out. Donna shouting you out. Yeah, send me a picture. I'm gonna put y'all on my wall of uh, fame. All family members that buy the shirts. If I run across you, I'm gonna take a, um, a picture. Me and you gonna take a picture. If I run across any of my dashes from here on out, I'm taking pictures, I'm putting them on the wall of fame. I got something special that I'm gonna do with that wall of fame. I'm not a stalker. But I just want to give back to you guys. And before I post your picture on my website, I will ask you to um, give me permission. I'm not the type of person that's going to post your picture without your permission. So when you send a picture, please give me permission to post your picture on the website. I am creating a website so people can go by and see the pictures. Of, or somebody wearing a shirt, you know, modeling a shirt. If you don't, if you're not cool with that, you let me know. I will not post your picture. We are family members. Family got to respect one in, one another. I just don't want to post your picture without your permission. You feel me? All right, family. With that being said, this is your boy Kingfish, aka Big Al. I'm out. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Postmate and Grubhub showed me no love today. Well, Postmate, Grubhub, I just signed back on. All right, family. I love you. I will see you all tomorrow. Be there in the morning. I'm going live, guys. I hope to be uh, making some money and talking to you guys. Kim C., if you're out there, holler at me, girl. I want to make sure that you're okay. All right, family. Love you. Peace.